Hey guys, it's your boy Matalaman Gaming here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be telling you if you should buy FIFA 16 if you haven't bought it already and giving you a kind of review of the game. I've been playing it for the past, uh, since it's been out a couple weeks now and I've got a pretty good idea of how, how the game is and what is good, what isn't, what needs to be fixed, what is improved from last year, what has changed and if you maybe should invest your money into it and when if you haven't already. So first First of all, you've heard probably this many times, but it's basically so different for FIFA 16. I find that it takes a long time, a lot more time to get used to. For example, I was really good at FIFA 16, uh, FIFA 15. Sorry, not gonna lie, I was really good at that game. I had a great record on FIFA 16. It's not as good. It's good, but it's obviously positive, maybe a bit better than average, but it's not as good as last year. The reason for that being is that it takes time to adapt. I mean, it uh, has changed so much. The style of play, the mechanics of the whole game have changed radically. For example, it is much slower. You need to take time. When you get a counter attack, you don't have to go quick and fast. You just gotta take your time. Sometimes to score a goal, you can pass the ball around like 30 times but like do 30 passes before you find the right gap the right movement or something like that to get through on goal or create a good opportunity although it's not as easy for me personally to get used to the game I'm not as good at it as last year I do enjoy it because I think it takes more skill to more skill is involved to win games uh, so for example you need to stay concentrated and then think about what you're doing every maybe substitute and I'm gonna get to that in a second because unless your opponent is like really bad or the opponent is really good that the goal scoring matches is not gonna be so high for example you get 3-1 4-1 max maybe 2-1 is some one you get really often you get draws and all that kind of stuff so it's really more like a real life match you gotta take everything in consideration and it, you know it takes more skill and I to be honest I enjoy it so going back to the substitutes as I said the thing about this is stamina stamina has in ch changed so much you have less stamina for example every player you'll find when you play their energy go towards the last 20 to half an hour of the game in game minutes obviously start to get really tired and they get the red bar straight away whilst in the other FIFAs uh, in the past they would run you didn't need to substitute them unless they got uh, injured but now it's more tactical so you don't want to be pressing the whole game from the beginning you want to use your stamina well and not waste it another thing is that it looks like to me that uh, defenders are really like there's not as much difference between defenders and strikers and as in pace wise for example when they get close to each other the defenders most likely always gonna win it like uh, he's gonna push the, the attacker off so it, it looks like in that sense that defenders have got quicker but in real life it's probably because they get stronger and win most of uh, their tackles and uh, I think it is much harder to get uh, by defenders with pace and just running like in the last years another key thing if you want to succeed into the game is that you as I said before I said you need to pass slowly and I'm gonna go back to the topic of passing because it's really really important you have the right bumper or R1 on uh, for PlayStation users basically it gives you the drilling pass which is you need to learn how to use it it's game changing because you can get the ball across quickly across the field and sometimes it gives you the opportunity to find the gap or the right moment to do something uh, which can uh, end up into scoring the passing is not as precise as the past years you gotta be more careful because uh, interceptions uh, are more frequent now what problems did we have back in FIFA 15 one of the big issues was the goalkeepers and I can assure you those have been fixed except for one thing that I keep noticing sometimes is when they come out uh, from their area when the ball gets close to the box and maybe it's a long ball your defenders are not close they come out of the area trying to get the ball without you telling them to which can cause some problems sometimes because they come to the edge of the box and then they realize oh god I'm not gonna reach that and go backwards and that's gonna be an easy goal or opportunity for your opponent I don't understand that I don't know if EA is aware of it but I mean goalkeepers have been improved it's a more solid game compared to last year in general the, the whole game but there is this little thing that I've come to notice another thing is at least for me in my experience I don't know about other people but crossing or more than crossing I should say corners let's picture this corners 
are really hard to score. Like every corner, the goalkeeper, I find like 90% of the time, goalkeeper comes out, parries it out, and you know, corners are not really effective. You can still pass it close to your um, player you call next to you and you can get something going from there. I've actually scored a couple goals like that from like we did uh, last year. And you can still, I've scored corners normally, but you, you have to really put it in the right direction, in the right position, because most of the time I find the goalkeeper just comes out, parries it, and it's really hard to score. So in general, there have been loads of improvements. As I said, it's a really round up, solid game. For example, uh, what I I mean by that is that there aren't specific areas of the gameplay where you're saying oh it's lacking there like really like we did with goalkeepers last year and uh, it's more solid and uh, there are some tweaks obviously like in every game it's normal but it's a slower game you just need to get used to it I'll tell you what probably people that have never played FIFA are better off because with people like us that in the past have already played last year the year before are used to a certain type of gameplay adapting is much harder than learning from scratch I, I think that, that might be the case we also have some new add-ons, for example, in Ultimate Team we have some little things that make the game quicker, for example, when we can select players or certain items in packs to get it faster. There are little tweaks like this that are important and uh, make the game more fluent in career mode. We have a little bit of add-ons. Uh, I'm always a bit disappointed in pro clubs and personalizing your pro offline as well. I like. For example, why don't they put new haircuts, stuff like that? Even, you know, they scan loads of players every year and they get their hair. Just put those in. Why not? There's so many. They've been the same for the past 10 years. Just just something I had to put in because I just feel like that. So now on to the part if you should buy it. If you haven't bought it already, there are two main things. If you're a hardcore player, well, in that case, you've probably bought it already. But if you, you're think you're gonna play FIFA most like what I do basically I play FIFA 90% of my gaming experience and um, then I would recommend yes go and buy it because and unless you want to wait till Christmas probably the price will go down a little bit but you know go and buy it why wait you know if you're not that interested like for example I'm gonna buy FIFA every year no matter what probably and well unless PES gets better I'm gonna buy PES but what I mean by that is every year I'm still gonna buy the latest and better football game there is around because football is what I love so if you're not a hardcore player and you just play casually well maybe you want to just buy it right now for playing casually with your friends sometimes but otherwise I don't know just wait until Christmas to get it cheaper or maybe until in the sp spring or early year 2017 2016 but yeah I think I've covered basically everything I thought I'd give this video because I think it, it will help uh, people out and uh, yeah if you have any questions just leave it in the comments down below because I'm sure you'll have questions that I haven't covered anyways guys that's been all from this video it's been a boy Matthew Levin Gaming I hope you enjoyed please smash a like if you enjoyed it this help you out subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys next time I'm out bye <laughs>